today my tears could drown the sea. The house lights go down, spotlights, zoom, hands, a sudden unexpected touch, hands, sounds, hands, flows through the room, hands, like a whirling breeze tangle in the rain, hands, throwing water on chords, cascading up and down, black white keys falling into the endless sea, hands, I float in my seat, hands. Today my tears could drown the sea. Jerry Allen has left the stage. 6 27 17. Every generation has its sheroes. Women who stand up in a field reserved for men. Stand up to let their voices and their brilliance shine like sparkling shards of sunlight delivered directly from the hand of God breaking norms and taking names, and leaving behind them a legacy that blazes a trail for the next generation of sheroes to follow. For my grandparents, it was Sister Rosetta Tharp, stomping and wailing and ripping off guitar riffs that would later become the legacy of Chuck Berry without him ever mentioning her name. For my parents, it was the late, great Nina Simone, whose smooth, rounded piano and vocals could rub the sharpest edges off the most cynical soul. For me, it's Jerry Allen, my cousin, sister, mentor, and friend. So bold and powerful that men cut their eyes sideways at her solos, wondering who this woman was that dared to be this great on the stage with them. Jerry is arguably the greatest female jazz pianist of all time, though she would never allow it to be said. She was far too humble for that. She would rather be remembered as a true artist, dedicated to lifting, preserving, and evolving the form of jazz all at the same time. She would rather be remembered as a mother that loved her children above all else. She would rather be remembered as a mentor that gave the brilliant young artists of the next generation a soft place to land and a safe place to shine. She would rather be remembered as a beautiful, bold black woman that just wanted to be herself. I'll remember her as my friend, my family, my inspiration, and my mentor. Without Jerry, I wouldn't have believed that life as an artist was possible for a kid from Detroit. It was her boldness, her courage, her dynamism, and her tenacity that taught me by example that it was possible to follow your dreams. Without her, there would be no John Marshall Jones. She filled me with confidence knowing that a creative spirit, one of the greatest artists of my generation, had my back. The proudest moments of my life weren't when I was on TV but when Jerry called me to ask me if I would come to stay with the children while she went and played a gig. I lived for the moment that the woman that I admired most in the world would call me for help and trust me to care for her family. For a mother, no higher honor could ever be given. I would fly around the world for you, Jerry. I would then, and I will now. Jerry Allen, my shero, has left the stage, but she'll never leave my heart. <laughs>